Hi everyone, how are you? It's been a while since I have last uploaded a video. Unfortunately, I had some medical issues I had to attend to, but now everything is okay. And hopefully from now on, I will continue uploading videos on a regular basis. So today I wanted to talk to you in this short video about a new text-to-speech model called Mellow TTS. Without further ado, let's just open it up. Of course, all the links are in the description below. And you can see this GitHub page, Mellow TTS, is basically based on a text-to-speech engine called Coqui AI, which provides a model of text-to-speech, can generate very high-quality results with the proper training. So let's quickly go over and check out the quality of this text-to-speech. It seems that the quality of their generated speech can actually compete with some production level text to speech engines. I don't think it gets to the level of 11 labs, of course, because 11 labs are uh, the, the top leading text to speech engines when it comes to speech synthesis, but they provide a very good results. And one of the key features here, and you will see it immediately when we check out the demo, is the speed that it generates the speech. It actually is so fast that you can actually implement it as an instant real-time conversational um, speech. So let's take a look. We can scroll down and here's some examples uh, of the sounds. Did you ever hear a folk tale about a giant turtle? I'm not sure if you can hear it as well as I can, but just go to the page and listen for yourself. And you can see it's going to be multilingual for now. There are only a shorthand of voices that you can use, but in future releases and developments, they plan on generating a training script, meaning that you will be able to train your own voices and also voice cloning. But this is very promising. And instead of just looking at the samples that they sent, let's open up the Hugging Face page where you can run the model for yourself without any requirements on your PC, just a web browser and 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 the speakers to hear the voices. So let's open up the Hugging Face page. And as usual, the link to the Hugging page will be in the description below. So let's take a look. Let's just go to Gemini and ask Gemini to generate some uh, text, give me a nice short paragraph of a woman telling a funny story. So let's give Gemini a few seconds and we will just copy this paragraph. And now let's go quickly to the Hugging Face page and paste the text and click, click Synthesis. Just take note to how fast it actually generates the sounds. Click. And it took 1.4 seconds to generate a pretty long text. It's almost a half a minute of a text, a half a minute of uh, sound, and it's generated it in 1.4 seconds, which is pretty amazing. Let's hear the result. So there I am, Agnes chuckled, wiping a tear from her eye, dressed as a giant pink flamingo, trying to wrangle a gaggle of actual flamingos for a commercial shoot. They were happy absolutely none of it, mind you. One. Well, of course, it doesn't sound in the quality of 11 labs, but the voice quality is very high, and you can actually use it uh, to create uh, notations. You can use it to create voiceovers and things like that. Let's see, let's see how other uh, speakers sound like. Uh, so here we have uh, a British accent. And let's click synthesis again, synthesize again. And once again, because it's so fast, it's really fun to play with it. So there I am, Agnes chuckled, wiping a tear from her eye, dressed as a giant pink flamingo, trying to wrangle a gaggle of actual flamingos for a commercial shoot. They were having absolutely none of it, mind you. One kept trying to eat my head, another kept tripping over its own legs. And the whole time, the director is yelling, action. Very nice. Let's check another one. This one is with a bit of a Hindu accent. So then I have Agnes Chakkar piping a tear from her eye, just as a giant pink flamingo. So as you can see, it acts really fast, works really fast, and best of all, it's open source. 
and you can actually install it on your own machine. Let's take a look how to do it very quickly. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Pinocchio. I'm not going to get into too much details right now how to install it, but it's very simple. I'm going to show you it in, in, a, in a minute or so. Uh, if you really need, I will create a separate video for it, but it's very simple. You simply go to Pinocchio.computer. Of course, the link is in the description and you just click download. Once you click download, you can choose your preferred operating systems. I'm using Windows. So you click Windows, you click download. Once you click download, the download begins to, um, to occur. And once, once it's done, we'll just open the downloaded files. And there you will see a file called Pinocchio.zip. Right click and click extract here. Once you extract the files, you can actually have a setup. So once you extracted the files, just double click the Pinocchio setup and it will start installing it. The process is rather fast. It will take a minute or so. Let's just wait. And once it is done, it will actually start the Pinocchio server. So once you open up Pinocchio, you can just go and click here on discover and it will, it will give you a list of all kinds of AI tools. You can actually play with all of them. I will probably make videos on, on most of them, but right now we want to concentrate on Melo TTS and clicking Melo TTS. You can see that it's got a download. Once you click download, it will actually go over and download all the required files and you can click install. Once you click install, you can see all the list of the things that it's going to install. Please note that the first installation will probably take a long time. It can actually take around half an hour. Uh, it depends on what uh, you already have installed on your system and whatnot. But as you can see, clicking install, it will actually go on, go over an entire process and it will install everything required by this application to set up your Mellow TTS. And obviously it works the same for other, um, for other scripts. So let's just wait it through and see how it works once the installation is done. But I did want to give you a head notice that uh, it, it, it needs a lot of space because every script or every AI related thing here uh, requires a lot of downloaded files. It actually generates uh, an entire Python environment, which usually can be a few gigabytes in size. Every model, especially when you use text to speech models and things like that, every model takes a few gigabytes. And if you install two or three models, it already becomes uh, pretty large in size. So take that into consideration. Uh, I suggest to you not to install uh, Pinocchio on your system hard drive, uh, but on another drive. I have a separate drive for all the AI related things. Uh, so let's just wait it out. I'll stop the video and we'll be back in three, two, one. Okay, so once it's done installing all the required uh, softwares like CUDA and Git and things like that, it will ask you to save as the Mellow TTS Git. You just simply click download and what it now does is actually go to the GitHub and it's going to pull the um, Git information. It will, it's going to pull the script itself. You can see here it says it's not running. So we'll click it once and we will click install as it hasn't installed the specific Mellow TTS files yet. It's just installed all the things required for the Pinocchio environment itself. And once again, once you click install, it will install all the Python packages that required by this script. And once again, let's let it run and we will be back in a few minutes. So after a while, after it downloaded all the required packages for the Python and it downloaded all the things that it requires to run, And here you can choose the proper language. And after we clicked the language, 
it is it still installs some related configuration files and when it's done you can see it gives you here the message proxy started and it gives you a link that you can click on it so just click the link it will open up on a browser and there you will see you will have your local installation of the text to speech it might take a bit longer on your local machine at the first time because once you click the synthesize for the first time you can see it actually downloads all the required models and everything it needs to download but the next time we will run of course everything will be already downloaded so it won't take that much time let's let it complete the download and this time we can click the synthesize and you can see it will do it much much faster as it doesn't have to load the model for its shell and after a few seconds the field of text to speech has seen rapid development recently you can see we have a local installation of this text to speech engine and it is free to use you can generate long text so let's go back to gemini and ask it to give us give me a long paragraph describing a nice simple story in nice simple words so let's just copy the paragraph as you can see it's not that short of a text and the field of text to speech is let's click synthesize and we'll wait a few seconds until it completes doing speech. Maya, a curious little ladybug, lived on a vibrant sunflower in a sunny meadow. One breezy afternoon, a strong gust of wind whisked Maya away from her cozy home. Frightened and lost, she tumbled through the air. Amazing. And here you can actually change the speed. Let's say that we want it to be a bit slower. And we will click synthesize again. And once again, you can see that it really generates the speech very fast. Maya, a curious little ladybug, lived on a vibrant sunflower in a sunny meadow. One breezy afternoon, a strong gust. So obviously it's not 11 labs. It's got still way to go, but it looks very promising. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like, subscribe and all that. Shit. So see you on the next one. Bye.